Natural gas is abundant, affordable, American, and clean. And it's an extremely important segment of the U.S. economy. So how do we make money in the natural gas industry? First, you have to understand how we spend money. The first step in acquiring natural gas is exploration. Geologists examine the surface of the Earth and determine areas where it is likely that gas deposits might exist. Once an exploration company determines a certain area contains natural gas, producers begin acquiring mineral rights from landowners and start drilling wells. Soon the production company begins extracting natural gas out of the ground. However, unlike the natural gas that powers home appliances and automobiles, which is mostly methane, raw natural gas contains other minerals that must be processed and removed before the next step of the process. Transportation. The ability to transport natural gas from point A to point B is handled by companies who own the midstream and transmission pipelines. Midstream lines are low-capacity pipelines that move natural gas from well sites to centrally located, high-capacity transmission pipelines. Transmission pipelines then transport the natural gas for the owners of the gas, called shippers, and deliver the natural gas to either the shipper's market area or to storage facilities to be consumed in the future. The most common shipper is a local distribution company who ships gas on transmission pipelines for delivery. The next step in the process is actually getting the gas to the consumer. This process involves more pipelines that are managed by LDCs. LDCs take gas from the transmission pipeline and distribute it to the end user. In order to streamline this process, most producers sell their natural gas to natural gas marketing companies, which oversee and manage each step in the process, from wellhead to consumer. All these tasks take skilled employees to complete. So where does a natural gas company actually make money to pay those employees? In order to determine that, we need to look more in depth at each step in the process. Chances are a single company working in the natural gas industry isn't performing all these processes. So we'll start at the beginning, exploration. When looking at exploration companies, you actually have to start with the producers. When a producer picks a region to explore for natural gas deposits, they accept bids from exploration companies on the job, and the winner gets the contract. Following successful exploration of a natural gas-rich region, producers acquire mineral rights, drill wells, and begin extracting gas. At this point, there are multiple choices a producer can make. They can process the gas themselves and sell it to a commercial consumer, or they can sell the gas directly from the wellhead to a marketing or local distribution company and begin recouping their expenses immediately. Companies specifically focused on natural gas processing are hired by producers and marketers to process the gas and remove all unwanted materials from the mixture. After the gas leaves the processing station, it first travels through midstream pipelines and then into transmission pipelines. Midstream and transmission companies charge a regulated rate to the owners of the natural gas in exchange for the use of their pipelines, which transport gas to the owners or to storage facilities. Similarly to midstream and transmission companies, natural gas storage facilities lease out any amount of their storage capacity to owners of natural gas. These companies make money without ever actually owning the natural gas. Finally, we reach local distribution companies. LDCs do not make money from selling gas, but from the transportation of natural gas to an end user. The natural gas industry is a highly regulated business and takes a considerable amount of expertise to operate within effectively. Because of this, natural gas marketing companies were formed to manage the process of taking natural gas from a well site through all the pipelines and storage facilities and ultimately reach the consumer. Marketing companies make money by purchasing natural gas from the producer and selling it to the consumer. Additionally, some companies are devising new methods of non-regulated revenue generation. Some of these initiatives include the sale, installation, and repair of natural gas appliances and the expanding market of compressed natural gas and CNG vehicle fueling stations. Natural gas is abundant and affordable, which in turn is driving significant job creation, valuable commerce, and U.S. economic growth. Now you know the basics of how companies in the natural gas industry make money. Not all businesses work identically. The company you work for may operate differently than the process described. Talk about the business of natural gas with your colleagues and learn how you can affect the bottom line. To learn more, visit SGA Network's website at sganetwork.org.